name is David with MediaUnlock.net, and we're going to be teaching you the basics of high dynamic range or HDR photography today. In this very first video that you're watching right now, our intro video, I'll explain HDR photography and how it works. In our second video, we're going to go over the settings that you're going to need to have memorized so that you can take good HDR photos. In our third video, we'll take you on location. We'll pull out some of those settings that we used in the previous video as well. I'll show you a couple different techniques that I use to take great high dynamic range photos. And in our fourth video, we'll be using a Lightroom and two different plugins, one made by Photomanix and the other one made by Google Nix. And we'll be showing you how to edit your HDR photos. Now I do highly suggest that you have Lightroom and one of the two plugins I just mentioned, one made by Photomatix and the other one is made by Google Nix. Both of those plugins are excellent. Now we will not be diving into the super nitty gritty part of the editing. I'm going to teach you quick and fast editing to get great results because I know a lot of people out there don't want to spend hours editing their HDR photos. So let's learn a little bit about high dynamic range photos, shall we? So what is an HDR or high dynamic range photo and how do they work? So the objective when you're doing an HDR photo is to take multiple photos at different exposures of the same exact subject. Then what you do is you stack those multiple photos together of different exposures and it creates one photo that is well exposed and looks amazing. So I'm going to kind of show you uh, right here on my computer how that works. So uh, real quickly, if you notice that this photo is mostly overexposed except for some information down here at the bottom. Um, the, sky's, the sky has no detail in it, the sun has no detail in it, and parts around where the sun's at has no detail for me to work with. This is an overexposed shot. Now let's go to the next shot. This is a fairly well exposed um, when, it, when you're concerning your midtones here. If you notice down here, this is fairly well exposed down here. Your sun's still pretty blown out and even the sky and clouds are still a little blown out and so there's not a lot of detail there. If you notice, there's a little detail up in the upper left, but not a lot to work with. And then if we go to our final photo, we have all the detail we need coming from the sky and we're able to pull in most of the detail right out of the sun now. It's still going to be a little bit overexposed and there's still going to be a little bit of detail loss with the sun, but much better. So now what you would do is you would stack these three photos together in Lightroom or one of your editing softwares and make this. And we'll scroll to the top. And this is what the finalized HDR high dynamic range photo looks like. The single photo from those three photos I just went over. If you notice, uh, this is very well exposed down here. The sky is where I want it. Um, the, the foreground and background are both pretty good. Um, you do still have some darks down here underneath the barn, but I wanted it like that. I like that dramatic look that it has. And the only thing that really is completely kind of lost is it right in the center of the sun. There is still some detail loss, but again, I'm able to get these really cool sun rays coming off this. And this, I just did this with a basic preset in Lightroom. I didn't really do any extensive editing on this. This was a, this was a quick edit job um, so that I could show you guys this. So this is what a HDR photo looks like, and that's kind of how an HDR photo looks. So in our next video, we're going to go over settings so that you're able to start on the right path to taking a great HDR photo. I hope this intro video piques your guys' interest into HDR or high dynamic range photography. If you're interested in purchasing the rest of the videos of the series for $2.99, please click the link in the description bar down below. It'll take you to my website where you can download it. You guys have a great day.